field stations and marine labs in particular are well known for being often experiential learning um, centers, right? So places where you get very hands-on experience going out in the field and learning what it's like to actually collect data, to look at animals in their natural ecosystem, um, to learn about why they are found where and what about their physiology and ecology leads them to be found where they are. And so having a field experience where you actually get to go out in the field a lot really kind of prepares you for graduate school and for um, professional environments that are expecting you to do field work or to really understand organisms in their natural environment. My name is Maya Watts and I'm the Education Program Coordinator at the University of Oregon's Marine Lab, the Oregon Institute of Marine Biology. Um, my role is um, in advising a lot of our marine biology majors at the U of O, which has about 300 marine biology majors. And I also am a career instructor, so I also teach uh, a few courses here as well. So the OMB campus is two and a half hours from the main campus in Eugene, and there are six resident faculty that are here all the time doing research and teaching our courses. And so um, one end of campus has all the research labs, so our faculty are kind of world-renowned scientists in their own fields, and so they all have research labs. So they're writing major grants, they have a lot of they have graduate students as well as undergraduates doing research in their labs, and so one whole end of campus is kind of our research end of campus that has their labs, lots of different microscopes and research facilities. Um, the other part of campus as you move through campus is our student life of campus and so it has um, dorms where we can house about 70 students or so and so there's classrooms and they're dedicated classrooms. One of the nice things about OIMB is that you um, have 24-7 access as a student to those classrooms as well as the library and a lot of our facilities and so our classes are also structured differently, and so instead of having, say, a biology class that's an hour and a half lecture twice a week and then a three-hour lab, our courses are entire days. And so each course is a whole day, sometimes more than one day. So that gives us the opportunity to go out in the field, um, to have a lot of time in the lab. So we might be on the field first thing in the morning on early morning low tide. We might come back and do a lecture or work up the data or look at the animals we've collected. We might be out on our research vessel. and so. Even though you're in class all day, you certainly aren't being lectured to all day, right? You're um, working in the lab, you're working in the field, and it's designed to be very much an experiential sort of learning environment. I've kind of always liked the ocean. I started surfing when COVID hit, so um, I think that helped me have a greater appreciation. And then I took a marine biology course on main campus at UofL, and we did a field trip out here, and I just thought this place seemed so cool, so I really wanted to come spend a term out here. Um, I'm actually a biology major, but I really wanted to kind of take advantage of the resources and the education that we get out here. I got interested in marine biology by volunteering at the Oregon Coast Aquarium when I was in high school, um, and I've always just been really fascinated by the ocean. We don't know very much about the ocean. It's not very, it's not studied very well. And it's also just very important for the whole world. You know, people depend on it for food source. It moderates climate, temperature. It produces oxygen. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really interesting. I really like it because it's a small campus, so everyone kind of knows each other and it feels like very much like a community. Um, and I think that that's really conducive to a good learning environment because there's more accountability. People, people show up to their classes here, like nobody ever skips their classes because all your friends are in your class, you know, all your roommates are in your class. Um, we eat meals together, all three meals of the day, most people do at least, um, and we live together and it just feels very like, kind of like a family and I feel like it's easier to learn when you're comfortable with your classmates and with your professors, like all the professors are part of the community as well. Um, and it just makes people feel more comfortable and more open and I think it really helps people learn more. Uh, it's way different. Um... Basic, like all day classes, at least for me, really helps me stay engaged. Um, it's tough when you have maybe three hours of class time a week. I, I don't know, I just find that all day classes, like I'm constantly thinking about everything, and then the ability to go out into the field 
and see all the organisms you're actually talking about, you just learn stuff so fast. Like most of the ecosystems on Earth, the ocean and, co and its coastal habitats are uh, under severe human pressure. Uh, whether we're harvesting things uh, or whether we're changing uh, the chemistry of the ocean, uh, in either situation, both situations, uh, there are stressors put on organisms. And since it's such a big uh, habitat and has many different linkages um, and there's so much we don't know about it, we're now having the challenge of trying to understand what humans are doing to the ocean and how that will influence the dynamics of both populations as well as uh, uh, interactions with the climate.